Hi, welcome to Joanna's DIY Life. On this channel, I love to sew and make home decor on a budget. You never know what I'm going to be doing around here, so make sure you subscribe. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make some easy, easy trays and risers. So let's get crafty. This first one is so easy. It is unreal. I am taking one of these little things from the spring shop at Hobby Lobby. Um, these little milk jug things and then I'm taking this metal thing from the Dollar Tree and just taking everything off and I know it has two holes in it but that's not going to bother me because I'm going to put it to the back so it won't be seen um, most of these I am making for props maybe for my channel I don't know um, this one I might put in my kitchen I, I thought it was so cute when I got done and I could put it over but then you're not going to see that it's a milk thing so I'm just going to put it on the flat side but I am drawing when I eyeball it you know and then I'm gonna put my glue down and then attach you know using the circle that I drew um, it won't be seen once it's together so it you know it doesn't matter and that's it that's all you do e6000 and your little metal parts let it sit for 24 hours you are done and you have an easy cute little riser for your home decor okay for this next one i am going to be taking a plate from the dollar tree and two pans one is a pie pan one is a cake pan and i'm going to take the inside paper out and try to get the, as much as a sticky off as i can then i'm going to take this little sanding thing and sand everything around there you want to sand all three pieces and wipe them down because paint will not stick to a non-stick surface. So they're all sanded as you can see and wiped down and I'm just going to take these um, alcohol wipes and wipe this down because the plate had beads so I want these to have beads. And that little pack right there of little beads I got at the Dollar Tree and they were close together kind of like the plate. So I decided to use those and all you have to do is make sure your surface is clean, take them off, don't touch them as, you know, try to not to touch them as much as possible and then just stick them down where you want them and leave them be. And I'll do this on both trays. There they are. And then I am going to take E6000. Well, I used, um, a beacon glue, but, uh, it did come apart with this glue. I'll show you the glue right now. This glue is good on some things, but this came apart. I guess I didn't leave it sit enough. I don't know. Um, my patient pants were wearing thin, so yeah. But anyways, uh, E6000 works better. So put your E6000 on there. Line up your um, things. Okay, the, the one on the bottom worked out great, okay? Then... I tried to put glue on this and then set the other one on. It would work better if you go from the top to the bottom, which what I mean is take the top one and attach the uh, smaller end and then take the other one and attach the smaller end and then attach the big part to the center. If that makes sense, it made it a whole lot easier um, to see where I was putting everything but anyways you do you that's just what made sense to me so I used the paper that was in each tray to um, or in each pan to put my you know center to find the center you can fold it in half and find the exact center here's what I was talking about if you mount it to the pan before you put the pans together just mount each one to each pan and then let that set up before you finish assembling your stand and it makes it a lot easier. And this is what it looks like after it's put together and been spray painted with Rust-Oleum 2X White Flat Spray Paint. On this one, I have always loved these trays and they're very expensive. So on a trip to Hobby Lobby, I found this tray. So I have finials that I either got at Walmart or Hobby Lobby then look at this i got that on clearance for two bucks i was so excited okay then i got this rust-oleum golden oak 
wood stain at the Dollar Tree a while back and it was a perfect match. Look at those. Now, I told you these were simple. All I'm doing is taking my tight bond, flipping this tray over, and I am adding my little finial caps to the bottom. You cannot get any easier than this, okay? Um, love it. I do think, however, I was having a little too much fun with this glue. Um, a little goes a long ways. So I um, later take a rag or maybe even a Q-tip and wipe off all the excess glue that's pushing out around my finial caps. But anyways, all you have to do is line them up on the corners and the corners are rounded for you. So you can eyeball it. You can measure it if you have to, but I just stuck them on and that's it. And I absolutely love this tray. Okay, this one is kind of a weird one, yeah. Okay, I got this thing for like three or three fifty at the Dollar General, and your plants go on it. But I need a stand that moves to paint on, okay? So I am just going to flip this and put my dots where I'm going to take a little drill bit and drill holes. This is easy too, but like I said, this is a weird thing. This is an old pizza pan that I had that I don't use, and um, it's rusted, so... It, it's going to work and I'm going to put the flat side is what I'm going to paint on. That way I could get more surface area. Now I'm cleaning up the metal. You want to make sure you get all these metal bits off if you have a mat like this because stuff sticks to it and they will poke in your skin. So all I'm going to do now is put this on the right side of the pizza pan because I want to paint and have the bigger surface with the wrong side of the pizza pan. So all I'm doing is shoving a um, zip tie. I don't know. I usually get mine at Walmart because they're cheaper. But um, I'm just putting a zip tie through it. Tighten that tight. It doesn't matter what it looks like, guys. I'm just going to be using it outside for when I'm painting so I can turn it without having to go all the way around in circles because I get dizzy. And this is done once you clip your um zip ties and it works it's functional love it here is all of the projects done except that spinny thing um it got painted but you can use this tiered tray for your sewing tools um you can use it for your paper crafting tools, you can use this for various things. You do not have to just use those in the kitchen. And then here is my beautiful tray. And then this is the little farmhouse. Look how cute that is. I am loving these, y'all. I love them. So anyways, this is what they look like. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Remember, you are a blessing. Until next time, goodbye.